Why are you dressed as a tree? Because my mommy told me. Can you tell me what a tree says? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that was accurate. Because they don't, because they, um, because they, um. Oh, my friend, oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think only like four, that might, not many kids cry on the show. You know what? You're a monster. I know. Yeah. <laughs> she, oh, she, oh she just has to pee? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that makes me feel better. What's up, folks? Today for our very special recess therapy episode, we are here with Maya Rudolph. We're going to be talking to kids all about comedy and what makes things funny. And I predict I might learn a thing or two. Oh, wah, 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 wah. Oh. <laughs> you didn't dress as anything. I'm a little disappointed. No, I just... Like a, like you're escaping from Alcatraz? I just like I was 21. <laughs> <laughs> like a what? She's like she's 21. <laughs> what makes this? Would you consider yourself a funny person? I make a bunch of jokes. Really? Restaurants will keep you waiting for hours for your food. Don't you hate it when that happens? What's the deal with mustard? Definitely. Do you have a favorite comedian? My neighbor's a comedian, so I guess. Really? Yeah. Eddie Murphy. Okay. Uh, Clearly no. Dan Levy. Dan oh. Levy is your is your neighbor. Yes. He's very funny. He could read the phone book and it would be funny. You've heard of phone books, right? Yeah. In the 1700s. But oh, I mean. that's funny. I, uh... I do, do, do. How are you guys doing today? Good. Who's doing better? Me. Me. Why do you think you're doing better than each other? Karate. Wow. I could do that too. Wow, also amazing. Is it a competition? No. What? Yeah, I said it wasn't a competition. I think it's a competition because he likes dinosaurs and he likes to fight me a lot. Is it a dinosaur fight or a karate oh. fight? It's more of a dinosaur fight. This is a good idea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Right. More, more! No, I'm joking. <laughs> I was not expecting a dinosaur fight today. Wow. Well, I love making up imaginary stories. Do you want to make up a story, all three of us? Yeah. Yes. The story is called The Two Cloud Girls and the One Big Bad Cloud. Upon a time, there was two cloud girls. One was named Starry, and one was named Loxy. Hi, I'm Starry. No, you're not. <laughs> That's the big bad, bad, bad cloud guy, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm I the knew that. <laughs> Yeah, you really couldn't wait to get in there, huh? I was excited. There also was this disgusting, evil troll of a cloud named Cloudo. Dari decided that we had to get rid of the big bad cloud. She made a huge submarine sandwich, but filled it with pepper. Then she told her sister, this ought to do it. I'm going to destroy your home. Will we have a sand new? Which for you before you do it. He exploded! <laughs> Victory! The moral of that last story. Not being mean to people and remember never to take a stranger sandwich. What does it mean for something to be hilarious? Like you're being funny at the right time. What is the secret to having good timing? I don't know if I have good timing. <laughs> <laughs> Can we uh, do an example in comedic timing? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. So is that too soon? Maybe like after he hurts himself, then you say, Ooh, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Yeah. That felt right. Do you wanna tell us a joke? What do you call a bear with no teeth? What? A gummy bear. Ooh, I've perfect. never heard that one. That was perfect. When something is funny, you're always like happy, and I feel like being happy is important in life. Just saying that out loud is such a great way to look at it. If you're ever feeling sad, just think about if something positive in the future and look forward to that, and don't focus on what's keeping you down. Seems like it's very natural for you. 
What did 21 year old say? I need some coffee. Uh, Where's my coffee? Where's the mug and everything? I need some coffee. Where's the mug and everything? I'm ready to laugh and I dress like it. <laughs> what? I feel like 21 year olds are always like, I need a phone! <laughs> Like, oh my god, where's my car? Where's my mug of coffee? Let's go shopping! Oh, let's go shopping. I was at Erewhon. Hey, that was good. And then we'll have lunch at Zinc. I don't even know what that is. I think we should go to the mall and buy some clothes. I definitely want to go to the mall because I need a new tube top. Rebecca, what are you doing here? Oh my god, Francette, what are you doing here? I just like, I just like, she dropped a pin. Oh my god, did you drop a pin on your cell phone? No, I dropped a sunflower. Oh my god, Jessica, you are full of surprises. I want to be a teenager. Do you guys like comedy? What's comedy? Thank you, I agree. I think it's violence. It. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> no more, no more. <laughs> Dean, I need to hear from you. What do you, Dean, find funny? Poop. Number one answer on the board. Poop? <laughs> Poop. <laughs> Poop. Louder. Poop. It works. Dean, say poop like you're angry and don't laugh. Pew. <laughs> wow, that was really hard not to laugh. Do you think poop is funny because everybody poops? So everybody knows what poop is? Or is it the sound of the word? Now you flush it down the toilet. <laughs> um, so actually, when we went to Disneyland yesterday, Dean was pooping in the toilet. What the heck? What the poop? What? What's the best part of being sisters? Then we get to play together. Sometimes when we meet, we get really excited, and then we always get like surprises each other. Do one of you snore? I hear her snore a lot. <sighs> what is a snore? What is what? What makes that noise? Um, sometimes it sounds like a pig. <laughs> do you, do you snore? I do. You do? That's. There's no stigma to snoring. Okay. Do you think the world could be a funnier place? Yeah. Um, if only there were to be anything fun, but like arts and crafts and coloring and a park. The method is point. If there was affinity. You want to be the youngest SNL cast member? Yes. Okay. What would your uh, audition joke be? I don't know. One time, this is a true story, when I lived in New York, my friend and I were walking down the street, there was a banana peel on the ground, and I'm not kidding, she slipped on the banana peel, and she tripped, she almost fell down, and we laughed so hard that a little pee came out. So that's like straight out of Mario Kart. Like Bruiser. Okay. Bowser. Oh, Bowser. <laughs> Bowser. <laughs> we'll edit that out. <laughs> oh, I mommed it you so hard. Don't you want to be in the second Mario movie? Oh, I'm so sorry. I just blew it. Sorry, Lord. <laughs> How do you feel when you're laughing really hard? Not that good, because then you can get overlaughed. Overlaughed? What's that? What happens that? when you get overlaughed? Well, then you run out of air to breathe, and then you can't breathe for a little while. I'm warning you guys. Laughing is kind of dangerous sometimes if you laugh too hard and do never eat a stranger's sandwich again. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>